What is up guys, McDoubles back again with a brand new video, and today, we are- I couldn't get over the little smirk he made as the video started. Today we're gonna be hopping back on the Crimson Champion tank, doing some High Mythic Plus, and progressing on the character in some pretty crazy significant ways. Okay, so I've got a bunch of different videos in the works. First and foremost, I'm gonna be working on more Koa videos, I worked on the Demon Hunter one last week, I just never got around to finishing it, and uh, I also wanna do, as you know from the last video, the Forbidden Techniques build, so there's that. However, I I still want to progress in Mythic Plus on my tank, and I've done some stuff new on him that I just want to point out. First and foremost, I acquired this Mythic Stone of Earth, which at the, you know, first glance, you might think, this is garbage, why would anybody care? But, it's actually a pretty sick transmog. You can use 1H and 2H transmogs for their counterparts, so I'm using a 1H, but I'm using a 2H transmog, and as a result, it puts it on my back, boys, and it just looks amazing. So we're going to be doing that and looking pretty sick in the process on the Uncle Chael character. And if you know that reference, you're so much cooler to me. And uh, we're just going to be busting out Mythic Plus until we finally feel comfortable going above a plus 10. I am currently defense capped. I did it, boys. I actually did it. 6% might actually be over there. And not only that, but when I pop my Crimson Champion buff, I've got... 52, basically 53% block, which is pretty fun. Still, though, only 69 item level. 69.67. Don't know when they added the decimals, but I'm actually very appreciative of it, because now I know exactly how close I am to the next tier. The biggest thing holding me back at the moment are my PvP trinkets, because I cannot raid at all with Bloodforged gear, so that's definitely a big minus. However, we're going to give this guy a go, like I said, anyway, see how much we can progress him, see how far we can get in this video tanking, and yeah, I think it's going to be a whole lot of fun. I also, by the way, went ahead and I got the Dark Moon. I think it's pronounced dirigible. Uh, essentially, it is a Zeppelin, right? If you know, like, the Goblin Zeppelins or Zeppelins in real life, except it doesn't float. It's actually very sad. You can see, like, this was 3,500 Dark Moon tickets, boys. Like, this is a bit of a grind. Most people will never get this because they're going to spend their cards on skill cards because of the bad RNG. I went ahead and popped on it anyway because I want it, right? I want to collect these things so that I have them in future seasons if they let us use our items, God, right? And also because, again, I've not seen a single person on this. Like, we're in Stormwind. Nobody's on this. Now, it could be because it's ugly. could be because it sucks. But it could be because nobody is spending their tickets on it, and I am one of probably 10% of players, if that, that actually have one right now, so I'm pretty happy about that. The progression is happening, boys, slowly but surely. All right, it's time to limit test, okay? This is something that uh, is a whole lot of fun and also only possible because of an item I got off the in-game shop. No, I am not advertising for you guys to go to the in-game shop and buy this, simply saying where I acquired it. I saw it, it's called the Battle Horn, and it taunts everybody in a massive rage radius towards me, so it allows me to do some pretty stupid stuff. For example, pulling literally everything in the first room of prison, which I want to show you guys right here. So I was doing more Mythic Prison runs just to get the caches and see if I can get something good because they're basically five minute runs, especially the way I do it. And I've been limit testing as well, and I'll show you guys that. But look what I just picked up. Draconian Deflector, guys. 17 defense, 18 shield block rating, 37 block value. It's so much better than what I had, it's not even funny. This shield alone gave me 4% block. More. Okay, like that's insane. So yeah, I think I'm definitely using that one. So I did a bunch of those limit testing runs with the prison uh, because it's just so easy. I think I'm gonna try it in this plus two that I'm gonna be doing for strat home service entrance. Reason being is I'm doing all of these low mythic plus keys right now just to build up my gear, if I'm honest with you. I'm just getting so unlucky, it's absolutely unbelievable. I have opened so many mythic chests, so many. Mostly from prison runs, but it's still mythic chest that should be giving me, you know, level 70 item level mythic gear. And I've still not replaced my trinkets, as you know, and I've still got heroic gear on. I've still got literal blue Deathbone Sabatons level 56. I've not seen a single pair of boots better. 
not even including set bonuses because I don't really care as much about plus 15 to all resistances right now for the four sets. I just haven't found anything. So that's um, disappointing. Hopefully I can three or even if I only two chest this, it's fine. And uh, we can get some gear. All right, guys, let's do it. Should be a three chest if we have the DPS, I guess. Because like I said, I, oh my God, I do know the route if I'm not getting stuck to boxes. All right, we'll pull all of this and then we'll go behind the church. So I think because I'm finally defense capped, I'm really not going to have to worry too much. That's been the running theme, by the way, so far. Another good reason to do these low keys is just to learn the routes. Should be an easy pull as well. Love being pally so I can stun everything like that. God, we just, we do so much AOE damage, but then we get to the boss and we do 600 DPS, man. Oh, by the way, with that in mind, I am actually trying the enchant recommended to me by a fellow tank pal called Blunt Force Trauma. My damage shield, which does 20% of my block value to attackers when I block them, now puts a bleed on them. It can stack to five times, giving me extra threat and doing more damage. So it's more damage and more threat. It's really, really good single target. Of course, she gets immune to that. I really thought, I really thought for some reason that I might be able to interrupt her. All right, so we can actually poison cleansing totem. That's not on somebody else, is it? Yes, it is. Hello? I also took your advice in the comments and I just made another Scada window, which I knew I could do, but I just didn't think about doing it. It's one of those things, right? So now I have the top one for threat and the bottom one for damage, just so I can see how everybody's doing in that regard. Okay, doing better. I need to place the cleansing totem. I love that I can get this 30 minute ghoul plague off. I'm telling you, nobody picks uh, cure poison, cure disease. At least nobody I play with. I'm, I'm, I know if you're in a guild that everybody picks everything, okay? But I'm just saying like when it comes to pugging, no one ever has anything to get rid of stuff. Not even the really good ones, like Purify. There's nothing at all. The so Cleansing Totem just has so much value because it gets rid of all of them, man. Every single one. So I can place it right now. It's going to get rid of this. Yep, it's gone. Feels so good. Now, remember, whenever I have at least three stacks of Holy Shield, I can Avenging Wrath for more block value, which is pretty strong, like a mini defensive cooldown. Very tiny, very mini, but nonetheless, I like it. Okay, so we are on Baroness and Astari. Um, I've had absolutely no issues and not had to pop a cooldown once. Now, we did have one wipe. It was not our fault. There was actually a server lag spike, and I was the only one that died. Every single person got it, I asked in the chat. So that is something I want to be honest about. But I think it will be the last wipe, um, period, the entire dungeon. Group seems to be good. We've got basically 2k DPS, single target from everybody right now, which is all I need for a plus two. I think we can three chest it, but I wouldn't be surprised if it was a two chest. Now, if everybody was at 3k, I'd be like, yeah, it's an easy three chest. But honestly, at a certain point, the healer and the tank have nothing to do with if you two or three chest it. Because if the healer is doing its job and nobody dies, and the tank is doing its job holding aggro and knowing the routes, at that point, it's simply do the DPS do enough damage. So I think that's where we're at right now. Because I think this healer could do a lot better than a plus two. A lot. I've been playing with them for a bit, a few dungeons now, and they're very, very good. Now, it's also possible my DPS is too low, so I need to figure that out. I think there are tank builds that could do more DPS than me, not just by a small margin. And um, yes, my gear is a big factor in that. But even then, I wonder if I could eke more out and what I'd have to do to make that happen. All right, that's Baroness and Astari. All right, they're all going to run into my Consecration. We can just start AoEing them down. I am using the Thunderclap semi-consistently now. If I have nothing else that I can do, which does occasionally happen, uh, or if I just want to apply the attack time reduction... 10%, time, you know, increase between their attacks by 10%. Good for melee packs, it just feels good. I know it's only 10%, so it's semi-placebo in its effectiveness, but um, I still enjoy using it. Like I said, it's worth it for me. I actually kind of wish Power Word Shield, which I'm sure the 50% damage reduction on the Crimson Champion with Power Word Shield is good, but I kind of wish they had put Thunderclap in there instead, because if you think about it, it would make a lot more sense. Like, all three attacks would be doing something different, and it would be mixing Warrior and Pally and not Priest. That's the only Priest aspect of Crimson Champion right now. I think I could be going a little bit faster. People urge me to chain pull even harder than I'm used to doing. Part of the reason I'm not is because I think our DPS is kind of low for Cleave. Like, I, I know I just said it's fine, and that's true, it's fine. But that's right, it's just fine. So I'm trying to be a little bit more normal, but it's possible that if I, you know, was a little sweatier, 
Maybe I'll try to be right here a little bit. Get more of these packs going. Nice. Just perfectly silenced her right there. It's just with the silence too, it can be damning. But I can stun them all. So that's nice. Oh, get the cleansing totem down. And now we will get rid of that disease. Just chain pulling as much as I can. With what I just said in mind. Alright, I was able to break out of their little web stun with my racial. Very, very sick. Love the racial. Chain pulling some more. Nowhere really to LOS these where I am at the moment. So I'm just going to go towards them. Alright, things seem to be going fine. I know you can go the other way and a lot of people do. It's possible when I say the other way, by the way, I mean going, um, you know, to the green one, not the blue one first. But, I guess I'm not quite sure if they're doing it because it's faster. I don't know why they were doing it. I guess we'll find out. Maybe this is just slower. Because I understand that this is not the proper, perfect way to go. But I also really do think this is a two chest the more I look at the time. So I don't think it matters. Just to be honest. In the arms of the angel. Holy crap, we actually just wiped again. Dude, somebody just rage quit. <laughs> Healer said they were stun locked. Yeah, I know it happens. Damn, I'm over here in plus eight gear. We just had a dude rage quit due to a wipe and a plus two. We really, uh, I was trying to make light of it, but the DPS was pretty low. And I guess ideally, as I said, the best way to go is turning around after this ziggurat, taking a hard left. You go and you immediately kill the crypt dudes. I think it's just faster ultimately, right? Uh, we need what, five bosses? But we have to do every ziggurat boss. So you basically have no choice but to do every single boss in this one, right? So you go one, two, three, you go in there and you immediately fight the A-bomb room, the A-bomb boss, and then the last boss. Everybody's gone. All right, well, we just have to find another one. Okay, at the moment, I'm trying to look for any Mythic Plus to do, but it's hard to pug these, it seems, sometimes. So we're going to jump into a Blackrock Prison Mythic and just limit test. I love doing it. It's not just a limit test for me. I know I can make it through with the right healer. I just have to chain my shield wall perfectly into my Divine Protection. It's essentially 16 seconds of half damage, and I'm basically unkillable. And then there's a small window if we've killed enough to where I can also, if we have to, throw out the Avengers Shield on the Crimson Champion proc and get the block value and feel a little bit more durable but typically by the end of those 16 seconds everything's been mowed down normally it's not the healer's fault although a good healer can get me out of anything i've noticed sometimes though it's been the dps's fault you know it is just a mythic zero you can't expect the world but a lot of people just spam these over and over again with the intent of getting that mythic chest very quickly at the end so a lot of the times the dps the queue for this stuff actually over gear it like, looking at this guy, 7,500 HP. He doesn't give a crap about Mythic Zero Prison. You know, he's here to farm caches or for fun. Alright, horn time. Shield wall. Holy Wrath. I can't turn around, which is absolutely, like... Oh no, server lag. Oh god, no! Okay, I was gonna say it absolutely guts me, because obviously you can't block from behind, and I totally get that, dude. Okay. I popped my divine protection. There's more server lag. That's not me. They're trying to fix it right now. Okay. I think we're good. I think we limit tested successfully, man. Basically, everything was pulled except for those two, which you don't even have to care about. And yeah, you don't have to do that, by the way. But again, testing my limits. We had great DPS. 5k DPS. Explosive shotter. Look, it's happening again. This is not normal, by the way. Just to give the server some semblance of credit. Okay. Nice. It's just nice being able to pull so much so comfortably. And I'm just getting tankier. Like, the fact that I've gotten no good things from these caches and still came out the way I have. 86% block, you can see right now, with my procs. That's where I want to be. That makes me happy. Currently, I'm using two PvP AQ trinkets, which are actually way better probably than almost anything I'm going to get, in fact, um, for a PvE trinket right now. I mean, they're actually kind of broken, but there's a possibility. I don't remember every tank trinket right now that I can get from the cache, at least, and in general, I guess, because a lot of them, they're better when they're mythic, right? And they've been changed as well, but there is possibly something I could get from it that uh, would make me want to replace what I've got on right now. So, this guy... Absolutely gutting me as well. 
She has so much HP on Mythic. It's like, it just takes forever. She actually is dying rather decently paced. I'm okay with it. The constant fears obviously don't help, right? I hate these types of bosses though, because your threat almost means nothing. They run around and they cast things on everybody anyway. It's like, okay. But anyway, they want to go again. I'm not going to go again. I hate that you have to destroy the... God, really? Look at those hitboxes. I was going to say, I hate that you have to destroy the cache every time. Let's see what we get. Tank. Oh, that is good. I can replace my wrath plate leggings, which are so horrible. 23 defense rating, 20 block value, 24 stam. Get a five piece bonus for 15 parry. Oh my God. What a, oh wow, what an upgrade. And look, I match. Well, I guess I always match because they look the same, but I still match and it's so sick. All right, I'm sorry guys, but I'm out of here. Who would have thought I'd actually get something good? Okay, my friends, we're finally gonna do it. We are going to attempt my plus 10 key for Blackrock Depths Upper City. This is about as bad as it gets, but there was a guy looking for a plus 10 or more uh, dungeon, and he was the healer. It's this Hoth guy, and so I thought if he's looking for 10 or up, he's probably good. Certainly good enough for me and my key, so we found three really good DPS. Hopefully, you know, that's what they advertised, and we're going to go ahead and attempt it. Why not? All right, so far things are actually going well. It looks like we're going to go to the Grim Guzzler area, because apparently we can just kill a lot of the bosses there to uh, satisfy the boss's slain requirement. Currently, everything is a murloc with this affix, right? Everything is a murloc, everything is hitting really hard, and we've got some pumper guys, some sweaty guys, no offense, love them, they're doing great, but we've got them, and they're just pulling for us, you know what I mean? Leading the way, and dying as a direct result of it to some varying degree. But you know what? That's fine, because it looks like, uh, and I'll be honest, based almost entirely on the quality of this healer, man. It looks like we're gonna be okay. I'm predicting a two chest. The reason I'm not predicting a three chest is because I have never ever attempted a upper city Blackrock Depths as a tank. Not even as a DPS, by the way. Never once. It's a garbage dungeon. The only reason I wanna do this key is because it's my own key and I wanna push it. There's apparently some elemental stuff as well. It'll like uh, eventually give me a debuff. I think it rotates the debuff. Yeah, it does from nature to frost and maybe to fire. And I take increased damage from that element by 300%, but then all other damage is reduced by 50%. It looks like the one that will matter the most is the fire one. Oh, it goes to shadow as well. Okay, so it's all sorts of different stuff. Later that same evening. So if I'm completely honest, this has been mostly a shit show. <laughs> I'm not gonna lie to you guys, but we are making it through. It's certainly not a two chest. We've got a guy in our party who's doing like 10K DPS constant. He's playing a pure shadow build. I'm sure he's the raid leader of some guild, okay, based on his name. Uh, it doesn't really matter, but the point is, like, the other guys in our group are good. Like, they're good players. There's no doubt about it. 3k and 5k on this boss, for example. But this one dude is pulling 8 to 10, if not way more on AoE. I can't hold aggro, man. <laughs> like, I'm a dude that just got unlucky as hell on every single freaking cash box. And they just want to zoom me as well. So I'm not going to lie. It's a shit show of a dungeon. Look, they all pulled. Like they pulled that because they have to go. You saw it. And then they all died. And it's like, what am I supposed to do? You pull 20k DPS instantaneously, you know, and we die. So I'm a little peeved. We're going to get it done. But I just wanted to make it clear. I wanted to give a little bit of a background because I haven't been saying a thing this entire dungeon. Instead... I've just been like, this is this is just depressing. This is a sad one. I am not too impressed right now, though, by Mythic Plus tanking, if that's what it's going to be like. I'm telling you, the threat thing is, like, so bad. But also, apparently, the mitigation thing is bad. I mean, I've gotten extremely unlucky with my gear, as tends to be the case. And I think all of us watching have established that it's not really me. It's just there's not good RNG in this game. You're set up to fail. You know, like they want you to do so much more than you should ever have to do just to get some very, very bare minimum gear. You know, like I'm still in level 56 gear because I can't even find a single pair of boots in 25. I mean, so many mythic runs and mythic plus runs. And then by the time I get a 10 offered to me, there's nothing I can do. I can't even hold aggro. So I'm, I'm very disappointed right now on multiple levels, extremely disappointed. Apparently, I have to have an AoE taunt to make this easier, right? And I don't. So they're mass pulling. I don't have challenging roar or the version of it for warrior. I never even saw it once in my draft, and it was never once offered to me. Um, it's like, my God, the gatekeep, you know? It's not the player's fault, by the way. It's the game's fault. 
absolutely not the player's fault. Anyway, I guess we're gonna go for this mythic boon real quick, and we're getting close to the end of the dungeon, more or less. All right, Ambassador Flame Lash, how difficult are you when you're actually in Murloc mode and we're on a plus 10? I guess we're about to find out. Now, you can see my aggro, okay? I am fine right now, which is, you know, pretty much not up to par. You know, like, I haven't been fine the majority of this dungeon. The AoE pulls, everything being a Murloc. I, I'll be honest, you can barely see where the mobs are. And back in the Guzzler room, half the mobs were bugged. They were still letting me talk to them. And so I'm like trying to right click things, trying to get things going. I can't see anything. There's random giant murlocs like this one. I mean, it was hell. It was hell on earth, man, getting through all of that. But you know, it's three more bosses and 22 minutes. It's certainly a one chest. But yeah, I don't know if I can do a plus 10 or more for a while um, because I just need more gear. You know what I mean? And so who knows with how bad the RNG is. Because think about it, guys. I'm not just making this up. The tank caches give leather. They give random garbage. It can give you parry or dodge or block stuff. And half the time, it gives me a piece for something that I've already got an upgrade for. I mean, it's really, really bad. And I think anybody right now that's doing this can probably relate. All I'm saying is after a week of grinding Mythic and Mythic Plus, I should have more than 69 and a half item level to show from it and uh, way more mitigation, as well as the gear capability of a plus 10. I've done up to a plus nine, I think it was, or yeah, it was a plus nine, that's how I got this plus 10. So I can do up to a plus nine, nobody complained in the plus nine, but this one is just jam packed full of affixes and I think it's above my pay grade. I'm really, really happy I recruited people that can do DPS. All right, I guess we're on Panzer the Invincible. Can I hold aggro? Well, it looks like my threat is doing pretty good. I literally taunt just out of fear sometimes. Even when there's no reason for it for the rest of the fight, it'll be just raw fear. These, they, they're asking about this guy's build. He's playing Pure Shadow. And this is a build I've known about for a few weeks now. And I almost did a video on it on my Jazzy guy, my uh, Harbinger of Pestilence character, because it transferred so easily with his gear and stuff. It's also spirit based. And it's really stupid strong apparently, because this guy is absolutely kicking ass. And he's got just the perfect set of stuff. He just, this guy just got one shot. How? I never lost aggro. How'd he take a nine point set? Oh, he one shot himself. Oh my God. Did he hit himself for 9.7K? This dude is literally a boss. This guy is broken. All right, sanctified this time. 5% health every second for 20 seconds. Damn, that's gonna be really nice in this upcoming room. I have a feeling. We're good with enemy forces, sadly. Uh, maybe that main room I'm thinking of right before the emperor's room and right before the magma giant's room. Um, maybe those little dudes you have to fight don't count for the percentage. These guys would know better than me. They've actually done Upper City before. It looks like if they give me a second to get threat, though, I can actually hold it very easily. You can look at the threat. Like, outside of that one dude, absolutely blowing everything up and dominating threat. Like, it's, it's absolutely absurd when he gets the Shadow Fury off, man. And outside of them going so hard immediately at the beginning of the pull on a random mob that nobody's focusing, and then getting one shot by it because it's a plus 10 with crazy affixes. I think we're good. I think part of my bitterness comes from the fact that I know my gear is not the best, but I think it's fine. If I wasn't capable of doing this, there'd be no way that I'd, we'd make it this far, period. You know what I mean? Now, is it perfect? Is it, you know, a guy with actually plus 10 plus gear on who didn't get shit on by RNG or perhaps was the lucky one considering how it is? Maybe, maybe they didn't, uh have it normal maybe they got lucky with gear or maybe they've been playing longer so they have more gear would it be better of course it would of course it would a thousand percent but that's kind of like going back to my previous videos and how i used to talk about how we've gotten to a point where you have to be the literal best at everything at all times and if you're not they're so mad at you people are all the time you know it's like everyone just has no patience for you know the bare minimum or even the average the only way this is not worth it is if we don't get something from the damn chest it's a plus 10 chest anything i get will make me extremely happy relevantly happy you know what i mean that's important we've gotten those uh pants in this video huge 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 right but unfortunately that's it and those pants are basically the only good thing i've gotten in an incredibly long time oh just let me have the boss for a second there we go taunts back up you know i'm almost wondering it's like why why don't tanks and healers just get the abilities they need for free like if you're again if you're gonna force people to have free pick builds let them have the free pick build if if it's a role like this you know 
I don't like that my DPS are upset that I don't have an AoE taunt that I never saw in over 200 rolls. That's not right. You know what I mean? And I also shouldn't be expected to have that in a random game mode. You know? Outside of everything else I need that I've actually somehow acquired. It's tilting, guys. It's tilting. But again, if we can acquire something usable, everything that we've gone through, all the hardships of this particular plus 10, it'll be worth it, my friends. We got some experience, right? I'll probably never do Upper City again for the same reasons I almost didn't do this key because I thought, damn, Upper City, that sucks. That's straight booty. Nobody wants to do Upper City. Um, but hey, if I do, especially one with easier affixes, at least I know how to do it now. Damn, that was not a good idea. Why didn't we LOS that? Whew. All right, guys, it's been a journey. We did wipe, but we still have time. Will we defeat Emperor Dagren Tharasan? The saltiest run I've had in months. And also a big realization that I need to get out of plus tens until I get luckier. Because that's what sucks. It's not skill. It's 0% skill. Like all things, I think, on World of Warcraft Ascension nowadays, it's 1,000% gear. 1,000% gear. It could relevantly be said to be build as well, but it shouldn't in this regard because that would imply a really depressing lack of variety because I've only got like two different talents than a normal Crimson Champion build. Two. All right, they pulled a bunch of stuff randomly. But we're going to do it. God, where's the gold raid lead guy when you need him? That dude had like freaking pumps. Like I, I want him right now. Oh yeah, he's repairing or needs to one of the two. Oh, will it let us skip it? I'm going to believe this guy because I think he's probably the most experienced person in this group or he just does big deeps. I don't know. Look at his mythic nine and mythic 11 and mythic 12, mythic 18, mythic 18, man. Get out of me. <laughs> oh my God. He outclasses this on so many fundamental levels. It's not even funny. Somebody just rage quit and we failed the key. <laughs> I'm sorry, guys. Like admittedly it's impossible not to hold aggro now that other guy seemed to be a major culprit of the whole let's start you know pumping way too hard before anybody can establish threat um which is interesting because i honestly thought i wasn't in a mad way thinking this by the way because you can't be mad at somebody who's as good as this guy is this gold raid guy you just can't um but i thought it was mostly him that was the culprit because his dps is just so damn good it's too good for a plus 10 i hate that i can say that knowing that i don't think my gear in setup is currently good enough and i got a guy that's too good you know like there's there's a spectrum in this game man but it's getting smaller and smaller there's fewer and fewer people it's like the five percent okay we have a super huge pull i really hope they can keep me up i'm gonna pop my uh, divine protection too to see it does somebody have aggro oh my god it was on the big guy the big deeps i got it off him though and now it's on the healer get on me okay it's on me Sometimes it does go awry, man, but we always get it. We always get him back. That was a pretty big pull, I think, for my gear, and I'm satisfied with the way that went. All right, we are currently trying to fight Dagran Tharasan with one guy. I don't know how this guy died. They both turned around and killed Thick Thick. I've played with Thick Thick before. He also correctly guessed that I was McDoubles in uh, a private chat, and I told him I wasn't. I'm, I'm just pissed that he figured it out. He said my shield and my goggles gave me away. How the hell do you guys know that? Like, how who, how did you remember that? You know, like, how is the haircut not enough and the name not enough? You remember my goggles and my shield combo? Anybody can have that, man. But anyway, Thick Thick's pretty sick. I, you know, pay big respect to him just for guessing it. He's not thick in that way. You know what I mean? He's thick in a better way. I mean, my transmog, it's like a B plus transmog if I had the tier list it, you know? And I'd say it's B plus because, like, it's fantasy themed but it's WoW fantasy theme, so that's like less creative inherently, but it is badass, right? So it's a solid B+. Thick Thicks, <laughs> I'm gonna give it an S+, plus, okay? You can't bear, you can kind of see it. This is supposed to be a semi-family channel though, so I don't wanna like go too hard on it, but you know what I mean, okay? But listen, Dagran's almost dead, keys failed. I still get gear for the failed key, okay? It is a horrific fail though, and I'm gonna show it anyway, all right? because screw it it's a process and i also want to be real you don't get luck you play your character for a really long time and don't get absolutely anything um this is it this is what happens man like this is what's going to occur i'm currently defense capped i'm way above defense cap actually even without the food buff the flask or whatever it is that i have um 
87% block with Redoubt. I've got the mitigation cap I need because Redoubt's basically always up. As you can see, it dropped and immediately came back. And so it, at this point, it's just gear. I have low armor, low health, right? That's a big thing. Um, and so we've just got to remedy that by getting luckier. <laughs> I mean, that's literally what it is, dude. You got to remedy it by getting luckier. I don't even know what to say, man, because before they made those changes, after I said some stuff and they were like, all right, let's do this crazy thing where we add, you know, spec based loot or role based loot and to everything right including a variety of different dailies i remember back then i wasn't even trying to do mythic plus i really feel for people who might have been doing it back then because really sometimes it feels like if you don't play with a guild and trivialize content you can't play you know what i mean you, you just that's how it feels sometimes that's what i'm trying to kind of defeat right there you know just play the game you should be able to just play and have fun and still accomplish great things so there you go it's a failed plus 10 but it's a 10 nonetheless, and I got a 9, and it's a really, really shit key. <laughs> it's just my luck, man. Um, all right, Mythical Cash 10 tank. Is it worth it? Legs. It was at this moment that he knew. He fucked up. Bruh. Leg plates of the Eternal Guardian, 14 stam, 20... <sighs> it gives more defense, but I am defense capped. It gives 10 less stamina, which everybody's complaining about. It gives me dodge, which is mostly irrelevant, and it gives me more armor. <clears throat> okay, so apparently this is where I can spend something that I didn't even know existed, but I probably read about and forgot called Mythic Coin. I've got 550. You apparently get 50 for every Mythic Plus you do. That means I've done 11 Mythic Plus recently. To me, that's a pretty hefty number, and I've almost got nothing to show from it. I have a Mythic 1 Band of Flesh, and I already had an M0 version, so it didn't even increase, by the way, at all. Nothing. Only the item level. I shit you not. No stat increase. Oh my god. I ended up getting rid of the plus three Pagel ring. <laughs> the Nagel one. Um, which is depressing, right? Because this normal M01 was just better. And then I have the best thing I've gotten so far, which I'm actually very happy about. And it, you know, is still not the best, but still Deathbone Girdle, plus eight. Other than that, not a single piece of my gear in 11 Mythic Plus runs actually was good. Like that, I want you to quantify for a second. You know, like that's not normal. And I really, I have started to think like as much as you guys come to me and you say, listen, McDoubles, my RNG is the exact same. I can't help but wonder if I just did something wrong. You know, I'm not exactly spiritual. I'm not exactly hyper religious, let's say. I'm also not exactly one for voodoo and, and you know, you know, I, you know what I mean. But the point is, I'm starting to believe in things like karma. Although I don't know what I did in my real life to deserve it. I'm really a pretty, I don't do anything. <laughs> like, I just don't. But if past lives exist, was I a horrible person? You know, I have no idea. I really do. Genu like, you guys think I'm joking, but I actually freaking think about it. Um, but apparently, somewhere around here is where I can spend M0 coins. It was a thought. They said that you get it somewhere similar in Orgrimmar. So I came here. It looks like it's wrong. <laughs> I don't know where to get these coins. Why is there a call board here? It's cool. Oh, is it over here? It is. I was just looking for any other players. All right, mythic items. Okay, downgrade my mythic keystone. Yeah, frick mine. Mine sucks. No. Oh, anyway, mythic zero trinkets because I do need to get rid of these. Really? Really? It's 475. I mean, I can afford it, but 11 only oh, technically 10 is only you have to do 10 mythic plus to get one item level 70 piece of garbage. Because guys, every one of these trinkets is shit. I guess I'll go Force of Will for 20 defense rating. That's probably the best one actually that I could possibly get right now. I'm looking at all the other ones and I'm not particularly impressed. And the defense rating is quite good. And I've had that confirmed. When struck in combat, it also has a 1% chance of just reducing melee damage taken. I'm not sure if 25 melee damage reduction matters at all. Um, oh God, oof, okay. We're gonna do it though. We're gonna do it. I don't think I just want 30 random dodge. Um, yeah. Force of will it is. All of my mythic coins. 11 dungeons worth. And dude, that's all I got. <laughs> oh, okay. So currently, I could probably just get rid of this fetish of chitness spikes. And uh, this is actually pretty garbage now that I look at it. I thought this was something different. For some reason, I thought this also gave shield block value and stuff. It doesn't. So this just sucks. So it's actually a pretty massive upgrade to grab this force of will. Go ahead and just put my enchant on it too. Shield spec. So 20 defense off that, this had 16. So with that, I'm at 491 defense. Like, I, that can't be low, right? It looks like the defense cap is not 6%, it's 5.6%. That's what I'm getting off the wiki. So unless the wiki's wrong, 
I'm getting it at 5.6%. So I'm a lot over the defense cap right now. 2%, you know? Yet I felt, apparently, also to my team, extremely squishy. So I'm sus right now. That is hella sus. I, I don't know what's going on. Um, Actually, let's see. And I can put the shield spec on this too. Yeah, I'm defense capped plus some with 57% block now. With that uh, Draconian Deflector being a massive gain in that regard. 12% parry, 13% dodge if we're lowballing them. And my armor is probably the worst thing. My talent points, I don't think I can move them, you know? I have the things I want for me. I'm getting 2% hit and increased range on my judgment. I really like this for me. Um, and I've got Heart of the Crusader because I really like the AoE judgment for me. So that's 5 points. Otherwise, I've, you know, tested with and without certain things so far. I'm two points in Judgments of the Wise for mana, and uh, then two points in Spiritual Attunement also for mana. This has helped me so far. I've tried playing without the Spiritual Attunement and without the other one, and sometimes things go really bad. So why not play it safe, you know? Other than that, I've just taken every block talent you can think of, basically all of them, things like Redoubt, things in the Protection Tree like Critical Block, and a damage shield. I've got the improved defensive stance. I've got that mitigation. I've even got the uh, aspect mastery. 4% less damage just for having aspect of the monkey up. I have to have at least 15%, you know, but I don't have a void walker for the extra 10. But then again, where would I, where would I get five talent points from if I had void walker? You know, like you're so strapped. 10% block from one handed weapon spec. I've got the extra expertise here. I am currently expertise capped. I believe it's 26, you know, so I've got that or for at least, you know, one of them. I think it's like you can't expertise cap your dodge or one of them you can't and one of them you can. But 26, I think, is where I want to be. I am currently hit capped. I have no hit rating on my gear. Zero. All of my hit cap comes from enchants. And actually, I'm only hit capped for spells. I'm actually 2% off for melee, but that really hasn't ever mattered because most of my stuff is spells anyway. So it, it's working, but you can see it's a struggle. Like tanks need a lot of stuff. I mean, I think I've got the things I can do. These are my random enchants, critical block, redoubt, balance of power and precision because I need them for the hit cap. Wouldn't choose them if I could. Blunt force trauma, pious strikes, crimson, weapon expertise, shield spec. Um, and I have to take... I had to take one of those away, actually, so I could get the balance of power. So that's 1% less block. So I don't know. It's it's really sus, man. I don't know. What do you guys think? But anyway, guys, we're going to go ahead and end the video right there. We limit tested in this video pretty significantly. And uh, it turns out the grind must continue for this guy to progress any farther. So, yeah, going to have to do a little bit of extra playing on the side. And trust me, I'm already doing a lot of that. So expect new builds, at least for the next couple videos. Maybe. Maybe I'll go hard on this. I don't even know. But anyway, I hope you enjoyed the video. If you did, make sure to give it a like and to subscribe. Consider becoming a member. Boom. I'll say it once. I won't say it for the next five videos, okay? Consider becoming a member in this video and uh, supporting the channel, okay? It's cute. I like it. Anyway, if you enjoyed, like, and subscribe. I'll see you in the next one. Big doubles out. <laughs>